what is it about making a decision about something that helps us set up a boundary? Well, honestly, you got to make the decision before you can set the boundary, right? Mm -hmm. It has to happen first. And when I do productivity coaching, which is all about how am I going to use my time? What's the most valuable use of my time? What Mm -hmm. my priorities are? And a lot of my clients and I was good. I would say across the board, I was going to say more women than men, but I think it affects all of us uh, about setting up, making a decision to say, I am not going to allow this, or Mm -hmm. this is going to be, this is what my schedule is at 6 PM. I'm going to do like chopped hands up off my computer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to set that boundary, but the decision has to happen first. Yes. And part of making the decision is, okay, let's sit down. The first thing I talk about with my clients is setting those priorities. It's Mm -hmm. that Stephen B. Big Rocks thing, right? Yep. Where he puts the stuff in the jar, he puts the big rocks in, and then the gravel and the sand and then the water. And the moral of the story isn't, um, no matter how organized you are, you can always fit something else in. It's put the big rocks in first. So that's my big thing with my clients is to say, what are your big rocks? After we talk about that example, what are your big rocks? What have to go in first? so that you have room in your schedule. And then you have to make the decision, okay, because I've decided that this is a big rock, I'm gonna draw this boundary here because my big rocks is spending time with my family. And if on my laptop, on my phone, through dinner and all through the night, um, then I'm not accomplishing one of my big rocks. So I have to set that boundary. So one comes from the other, you know? Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, and and it's so interesting, right, how people will have a big rock and they have no problem telling you it's their priority and then their schedule doesn't reflect that in any way, shape or form. Yeah. And the boundaries they have set become all about the shoulds and the expectations of others instead of designing it themselves by making the decisions. Yeah. You find that as well? Absolutely. I mean, I will say it's funny. I always joke with my clients. Okay, well, you've said this is your big rock. Let's look at your calendar. Let's <laughs> right. look at your checkbook. Let's look at your credit card mm-hmm. statement. Do yeah. you deal with that all the time? Does mm-hmm. do all of these things reflect that this for say for example, it's self care that uh, exercise and eating right is one of my big ro- big rocks. Well, let's look at your calendar. Let's look at how you're spending your money. Is it really a big rock or Mm -hmm. is that what you desire it to be, but you haven't yet made the decision to say, I have to draw this boundary and this boundary and this boundary in my time and in my energy so that I can spend time on that big rock. So yeah, it absolutely is crucial to, to look at those things. 